Hello everyone, this is Tuba Mirza and welcome to Recoding. All the code used inside this video are mentioned inside the description box. List is basic building block of any application and the release of Swift UI 3 in WWDC 21. Apple has made it more powerful list view. Now got all the essential feature of UI table view from UI kit. So let's check out some amazing features of list in Swift UI 3. We have already covered recursive list and hierarchy list in our previous videos. You might find the videos inside the description box of info icon on the side of the video. In this video, we are only looking for some of the new features of list added in Swift UI 3. First, create a multi-platform application and create the export project. Then create a navigation view inside it, add list, then add some text inside it. It will create a row of text inside the list. For using all the latest features, let's set the deployment version of iOS to iOS 15 and Mac OS to Mac OS 12. And run the simulator and here we can see that a list has appeared. List mainly is used to display array of data which consists similar items. To do so, we need to create a new structure called as previous data which confirms to identifiable inside it create id, name, icon and color field. Then let's create some dummy data respective to a previous data structure. Then inside a content view, we create a let demo data which equals to our example structure data. Then inside a list, we create a for each loop inside it and a demo data array and ID to our demo data. Now inside it we create labels and add icons to our items.icon string. Inside our label we added text and add item.name as a placeholder. Now, when we run our app, we can see that a data has appeared. Add navigation title inside our list. Then create a new state selection which contains a set of UUID and initially it will be an empty array. Inside our list, we add a selection state as a binding inside selection placeholder. Add toolbar to our list and use pre-created edit button toolbar. Now, when we run our app, we can see that we have added selection functionality inside it. We can change the color or label icon color using list item tint function. Then inside it we add our item color which we have provided earlier. We can also set the row separator tint also using list row separator tint function.
Inside list, we can create section using section structure which takes header as initial value. To increase the size of header, we can use the header prominence function and use increased. This will increase the size of the header. Now let's see one of the important function, swipe action. This allows use to create swipe action for each list item. To create swipe action, we need to create a swipe action. Then add some initial value like where to place the swipe action, either leading or trailing edge, then if we allow full swipe or not. Inside the swipe action, we can normally create a button which takes care of further action. Here, we have created a favorite button. Now let's run the simulator. And here, we can see that our swipe action is working fine. We can also create swipe action of trailing side. Inside it, we can also add more than one button, but we need to put the button inside the VStack. So here, we can see we have created two action button inside swipe action. Now let's create another section with some pre-filled text. Now let's see some new features of list inside Mac OS. So switch the device to Mac OS. We might get some error as macOS doesn't support some iOS properties, so we need to add some checks inside it. Now run the app and here we can see that our list is working fine. Swipe action also works inside macOS as well. We can also multiple select the list using command and while clicking on the list item. Now we can set the list style to alternative color as we have seen in Finder Windows list items. Using list style function and add insert as alternative row background to true. And here we can see our alternative row background has appeared.
We can also hide the row separator using list row separator and set it to false. And we can also use list style to group this. Bring older iOS like list style without any side border. Also, we can hide section separator using list section separator function. So this is how the list works inside the Swift UI 3. I really hope that you will surely use some of the features in your future project. So if you like the work we are doing and if you are learning something from our videos, please do subscribe to our channel and share it with your group because your subscription will make this type of video happen in the future. So without any further ado, let's get started. And yes, let us know what you liked or disliked about this video in the comment section. Please do like and subscribe to our channel and yes do not forget to suggest some more topics. For now I'll be signing off, we'll definitely see you all in the next video.